ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد so continue where we left off اخوان from the last lesson this morning which is the statement of Imam Barbahari rahimahullah ta'ala this noble imam in, in the sunnah wal asas alladhi tubna alayhi al jama'atu and the foundation in which the jama'a is built upon they are the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa rahimahum wa rahimahumullah ajma'in wa hum ahli sunnati wal jama'a faman lam ya'khudh faman lam ya'khudh anhum so whoever does not take from them they have become misguided and innovated and every, and every innovation is a misguidance and every misguidance in its people on the hellfire so we spoke a bit about this earlier <clears throat> and we spoke about something from <clears throat> uh, the sahaba and them being the asl radiyallahu ta'ala anhum the asl of the jama'ah naam the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who witnessed the wahi who witnessed the revelation of the wahi and they took the deen and they took the religion from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ghaddan tariyan pure in its pure and pristine form naam so they are the asas of the jama'ah <coughs> the people upon the haq naam because they were they were those who followed the kitab and sunnah naam they were from they were from those who followed and implemented the kitab and sunnah <clears throat> and not one sahabi and not one sahabi innovated in the religion and not one of them came with an innovation not one of them innovated in the religion and not one of them came with any innovations no one from the sahaba innovated in the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and likewise Sheikh Fawzani discussed that those who you find who speak ill of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum that that which they truly intend is what? the religion they truly intend to speak about the religion. Now, it's like one of the salaf they mentioned that they are our upright and just witnesses, the Sahaba. And they want these individuals who speak about the Sahaba. They only want to. They only want to <coughs> speak ill of the, speak ill of them. And speak ill of them because they are the wasit between us and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's their reason for speaking ill of them. وَالْجَحْرُ بِهِمْ أَوْلَىٰ And to speak ill of these individuals, meaning those who speak about the Sahaba, to criticize them is foremost. <coughs> now, let's paraf- paraphrase in one of the statements of the Salaf. <coughs> so those who speak ill about these noble, these noble companions, the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those whom Allah praised in the Qur'an. Those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said regarding them, Radiallahu anhum. Wa radhu an. Radiallahu anhum. Allah is pleased with them. And they are pleased with him. Naam. And, and, and those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised by mentioning, Wa man yushakik al-rasul min ba'di ma tabayyana lahu al-huda, wa yattabi' ghayra sabil al-mu'mineen. Whoever opposes the messenger after the guidance has been made clear to them. And they follow a path other than the path of the believers. The believers in his eye, first and foremost, were the Sahaba, as the scholars they mention. And we will land them in the fire <coughs> and with an evil destination. So the Sahaba, ya khwan, all of them are, are udul. They all were just and upright. Naam, and their naql, and their transmission of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You don't need to make taftish about the hal of the sahaba. Regarding adala, you don't need to make taftish and look into and examine the condition. If you know that, if you know a sahaba, yani the, the sahab, even if his name wasn't mentioned, if they said, an rajulin min ashab nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is not considered jahala. Because all of the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they were udul. So if you see it, it's not, and, and everyone up to the, to the Sahabi, they were all thiqat. And when he got to the Sahabi, they said, I'm rajulim min ashab al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
narrating from a man from the companions of the Messenger of Allah. Even if we didn't know his name, the jahal of a sahabi la tadur. It doesn't harm. Because all of them are udul. Man adalahum. Who made him? Who made him adil? Who made him udul? Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah subhanahu wa taala. He made the Sahaba, all of them udul, as many ayat in the Quran they they show. Just as the ayat we just mentioned, رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عن. Now, so those who speak ill about the Sahaba, رضي الله تعالى عنهم. They only intend by that to speak ill about the uh, to speak ill about the religion and criticize the religion itself, the message. Because if a people can be criticized, the carriers of a message can be criticized, then that message itself, yani can be can be spoken ill of and be criticized. So this is their their evil intention. So continuing, Imam Barbahar he said, "فَمَنْ لَمْ يَأْخُذْ عَنْهُمْ فَقَدْ ظَلَّ وَبْتَدَعَ." So whoever does not take from them, meaning the Sahaba. They went astray and innovated. Sheikh Salih Fawzan, Hafizahullah, he says, "Man lam yaqud dinahu an al-Sahaba, whoever does not take the religion from the Sahaba, al-ladina hum naqla tul kitabi wa sunna, those who are the transmitters of the, of the book and the sunna, falaysa hu al al-haq, falaysa hu al al-haq, then they're not upon the truth. They're not upon the haq. Fa idha tu'ina fihim batla naqluhum wal ayyadu billah." Because if there was spoken ill against the, the Sahaba, then that which they tra- that, that which they transmitted becomes discredited, and Allah's refuge is sought. وَقَصْتُ أَعْدَاءِ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ إِبْطَالُ الْإِسْلَامِ And the objective of, the, of these of these enemies of Allah and His Messenger is to falsify Islam in itself. لَكِنْ جَاءُوا بِهَذِهِ الْحِيلَةِ الْخَبِيثَةِ How they came with this evil side, sl- sl- yani slick trick. They came with this evil trick and this evil way by trying to speak about the Sahaba. They didn't say we're going to speak directly about Islam because, of course, every, that would have been clear to everyone. But what did they do? They tried to start speaking about the Sahaba because they are the, they are those who transmitted the religion to us. رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. نعم. So he says, لأجل أن يفصلوا بين المتأخرين والمتقدمين والمسلمين. So they can separate these people. This, their intention was to separate. From those who came later, from the mutaqaddimin, those who, يعني, from, from those that, those early generations from the Muslims, حتى يصل ابتلاع المتأخرين ويصل اجترارهم. Now, so they can easily easily bring bring those individuals came came who came later, so they can easily pull them to them and يعني, devour them and swallow them. However, if the Muslims, if they tie themselves to the original jama'ah, or the Sahaba, وَبِالْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ And tie themselves to the book and the sunnah, فَلَنْ يَسْهُ This will never be easy for a person to يعني, swallow these individuals, or to pull these individuals and, devi- and, يعني, bring, and, and devi- cause these individu- individuals to deviate. It won't be easy. However, that would be next to impossible if Allah wills. And as for a statement, the statement of Imam Barbahari, whoever does not take, take from the Sahaba, then, then they are misguided and went astray. They have astrayed from, from the truth. And they have innovated. Al Bid'ah, Sheikh Salih Fawzan, he mentions. Al-Bid'a, innovation, ma kana min al-ibadat, aw al-i'tiqadat, aw al-aqwal, laysa alayhi dalil min al-kitab wa sunnah That what you find from, from acts of worship, or beliefs, or statements that do not have an evidence from the book and the sunnah. Now, this is, this is the definition of an innovation. That which a person does from acts of worship, or that which a person holds from belief, or statements that doesn't have an evidence from the kitab and the sunnah, then this is an innovation. Naam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, مَنْ عَمِلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فَهُوَ رَدٌ And also in another riwayah, 
من أحدث في أمرنا هذا ما ليس منه فهو رد whoever does an action not upon my matter then it is rejected and in another riwayah whoever innovates in our matter that which is not from it then is rejected and, 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 and both of these narrations both of these wordings are important why? because the first narration let's take the second that he mentioned here من أحدث في أمرنا هذا ما ليس منه فهو رد whoever innovates in our matter that which is not from it then is rejected so that shows that whoever innovates and brings something new in the religion seeking, seeking thereby to قرب إلى الله to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who introduced that innovation is rejected from them it's not accepted والرد بمعنى المردود as Shaykh Wana Shaykh Ubaidi mentions that فهو رد مردود is rejected والذي مردود كأنه ليس بموجود that which is mardood is not like, is like it doesn't even exist. Now, so the first riwaya in the hadith, the hadith of Aisha, Ummuna Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, it, it, it mentions the one who actually introduced that innovation. Tayyib, a person may come and say, okay, I didn't introduce the innovation myself, but I'm following that which was introduced before me. Me, myself, I didn't introduce it. I'm only acting in accordance to that. We say it's still rejected. We look at the second riwayah. مَنْ عَمِلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فَهُوَ رد. Whoever <coughs> does an action, even if you didn't innovate or introduce it in the religion, whoever does an action not upon our matter, it is rejected. So even if you are, you are, a, a, you are one who didn't introduce that innovation in the religion, but you're following someone else, who introduced that, that, that innovation in the religion, that act we say, from the hadith of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, that act is still rejected. And this is the fa'id of, 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 of knowing and understanding these two, these two riwayah, and they're both sahih. They're both sahih. And Imam al Nawi, as many of you know, he, he brings it in his collection of 40 hadith. And the asl of them are uh, uh, Bukhari and Muslim. Now, uh, so, that's from those, some, some of those fawa'a that the ulama, they extract from those two narrations. And likewise, he said, alayhi salatu wa salam, wa iyyakum wa muhdathatul umur, yarhamukullah, fa inna kulla muhdathatin bid'a, and beware of newly infinite matters. For indeed, every newly infinite matter is an innovation, and every innovation is a misguidance. Now. So Sheikh Salih Fawzani says, فَالْبِدْعَةُ مَا أُحْدِثَ فِي الدِّينِ وَلَيْسَ مِنْهُ That which is newly brought about in the religion and is not from it. Now, so beware of those who say, they say, some people come today and they say, well, it wasn't any cars in the time of the Masha'Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It wasn't any airplanes or it wasn't air conditioners. These are, these are innovations. These are bid'ah. How can you say it's, no, it's, it's, it's not permissible? Bid'ah is not, it's haram. We say, la, that which is intended, ma uhditha fi deen Ma uhditha fi deen wa laysa alayhi al-dalil. That which was innovated in the religion, that is well, that which is connected to the religion, and it doesn't have upon it a dalil, an evidence from the kitab or the sunnah or the amal of the salaf. Sheikh Fawzani says, wa kayfa yu'rafu annu laysa minhu? How does one know something is not from the religion? Ida lam yakun alayhi dalil fa huwa laysa min al-deen. If it doesn't have upon it a, 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 a delete and evidence, then it's not from the religion. This is important, ya Khwan. It shows us what? That adat that are brought into the religion, those adat that some people they, they may have, and they bring those into the religion, those adat seeking a taqarrub Allah, then, naam. Yani, it's not upon those adat any dalil because some people they they do things in the religion they say well this is how we do it in our country or this is how my father taught us and this is how we grew up we, we, this is that which we grew up doing but those matters doesn't have a dalil upon it so this is important to know that إِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ عَلَيْهِ الدَّلِيلِ فَهُوَ لَيْسَ مِنَ الدين. that which doesn't have an evidence from the kitab or the sunnah then it's not from the religion now he says, لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ جَلَّ وَعَلَى يَقُولُ Because Allah, the mighty majestic says, 
Today, I have completed for you your religion. Today, I have completed for you your religion. So the religion is complete. The religion is not in need of any additions. So it is only upon us to know the religion that Allah has already completed for us. That we cling to it. And we leave that which, that which is besides from any additions. And those thoughts, those things that people deem to be good in the religion. And other than that. Now. That's why Shafi'i said, he what? What did Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah he said? He said, Man za'ma anna fil islami, na'am, man za'ma anna fil islami bid'a, yiraha hasanatan, faqad za'ma anna Muhammad khan al risala. Man za'ma anna fil deen, bid'a tan yiraha hasanatan, faqad za'ma anna Muhammad khan al risala, li anna Allah yakul. اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا. هو بيقولين that in the in the religion is an innovation which is good. Then they have then they have accused Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم of dealing treacherously with the رسالة because Allah said because Allah said today I've completed my religion for you and I bestowed my favor upon you and chosen Islam. As your religion. So whatever was not from the religion that day, it will not be from the religion today. Now, that whatever wasn't from the religion that day, when that ayah was revealed, then it's not from the religion today. Now, Shafi'i. Shafi'i, now. Now, so he, he goes on to Sheikh, Sheikh Salih al-Fawzan. He says, what's the get to you to And he said, it's going to come. And he's referring to a, an, another point that Imam Barbahari mentions. ما أحدث قوم بدعة إلا نزع مثلها من السنة that a person never introduces a people never introduce an innovation except the like of it from the, from a Sunnah will be left off. نعم. He says فهذا هو الطريق الصحيح المستقيم. So this is the correct and straight path. لزوم الجماعة. Clinging to the جماعة. Clinging to the Sunnah and leaving off innovation. And as for the statement of uh, Al-Barbahari, وَكُلُّ بِدْعَةٌ ضَلَالَةٌ And every bid'ah is a misguidance. فَلَيْسَ هُنَاكَ بِدْعَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ Then there's no good bid'ah in the religion. كَمَا يَقُولُوا بَعْضُهُمْ As some say, بَلَ الْبِدْعُ كُلُّهَا ضَلَالَةٌ بِنَصِّ الْحَدِيثِ بِنَصِّ حَدِيثِ الرَّسُولِ صلى الله عليه وسلم حيث قال However, every innovation, all of them, every innovation is, are mis, are, are, is, is, is misguidance. Due to the, the, the nas and the text of the statement of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said, wa bid'a For indeed, every nuni of matter is an innovation, and every innovation is a misguidance. So innovations introduced in the religion, none, none of them are good. None, none of them have any good in it. Rather, all of them are misguidance. And this is the speech of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the one who did not speak from his desires. The one who did not speak from his desires. And as for his statement, وَالضَّلَالَةُ وَأَهْلُهَا فِي النَّارِ And misguidance and his, and his people on the hellfire. He says, Sheikh Salih al-Fawzan, الضَّلَالُ وَأَهْلُ الضَّلَالَ فِي النَّارِ Misguidance and the people are misguided on the hellfire. إِمَّا بِكُفْرِهِمْ Either due to their disbelief, وَإِمَّا بِمَعْصِيَتِهِمْ or due to their ma'asiyah, فَالْبِدْعُ لَيْسَتَ لَا حَدٍ سَوَىٰ Because bid'ah, they are all of not, they are all, they are all, all of them are not of the same degree. مِنْهَا هُوَ كُفْرٌ From innovations are that which are kufr. صَاحِبُهُ مُخَلَّدٌ فِي النَّارِ And the person who is upon that will be internally in the hellfire. Such as كَالْإِسْتِغَاثَةِ بِالْأَمْوَاتِ Like those who seek rescue from the, from the deceased. This is shirk. This is major shirk. كالاستغاثة بالأموات ودعاء الأموات and such as calling on the deceased والذبح لغير الله and slaughtering for other than Allah والنذل لغير الله and offering vows for other than Allah فهذه بدع كفرية هذه بدع 
kufriya. These are innovations of kufr. وَكَذَا نَفْيُ أَسْمَاءِ اللَّهِ وَصِفَاتِهِ كَمَا قَالَتِ الْجَهْمِيَةِ Likewise, negating the names and attributes of Allah. Just as, just as the Jahmiya, they did. The followers of Jahm ibn Safwan, the innovator. Jahm ibn Safwan. Those who, the Jahmiya, those who deny the names and attributes of Allah. And this is kufr. وَالْعِيَاذُ بِاللَّهِ لِأَنَّهُمْ وَصَفُ اللَّهِ بِأَنَّهُ لَيْسَ لَهُ أَسْمَاء وَالصِفَاتِ Because they described Allah that he does not have or without having names and attributes. فَيَكُونُ إِذَا مَعْدُومًا This means what? That this, this, this will result in a meaning, this meaning will result that Allah is ma'doom, not, not, not existent. وَعِيَذٍ بِاللَّهِ You see why it's kufr? Because if a person says that Allah doesn't, does not have any asma with sifat, this only leads to mean that Allah is ma'doom, that Allah is non-existent. وَعِيَذٍ بِاللَّهِ And this is kufr, to say that. Now, لِأَنَّ الْمَوْجُودِ لَا بُدْلَهُ مِنِ السِّفَاتِ Sheikh Salih Fawzan, he says, because the one who, is, who exists, there's a must that he has sifat, attributes and descriptions. And the one who does not have any, uh, any sifat, any attributes and descriptions, then this is the one who is ma'adum, non-existent. And for this reason, the scholars of Islam, they declare the jahmiyyah to be outside of the fold of Islam. And those who said the Quran was makhluq. Those who said the Qur'an was created. فَجَعَلُوا Quran, So they considered the Qur'an. And the Qur'an is what? Kalam Allah. And Kalam is from the attributes of Allah. وَكَلَّمَ اللَّهُ huh? مُوسَى تَكْلِيمًا وَإِنْ أَحَدُ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ اسْتَجَارَغَ فَأَجِرْهُمْ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ نعم. So Kalam is a sifatun. ذاتية لله عز وجل ذاتية فعلية نعم لا ينفك عن الله عز وجل So those who say that the Quran is مخلوق That's why the علماء the إما of Islam حكموا بتكفير الجهمية نعم فجعل القرآن because Sheikh, like Sheikh Salih Fawzan is mentioning They considered the Quran and the Quran is the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we mentioned the ayat ووحي وتنزيله in his revelation, in his revelation. جَعَلُوهُ مَخْلُوقًا مثل المخلوقات They considered it to be created like the rest of the created things. And they said, الله لا يتكلم They said, Allah does not speak. فَشَبَّهُوهُ بِالْجَمَادِ And so they, يعني, they resembled Allah to that which is inanimate. وَعِيَذٍ بِاللَّهِ What's the ayat? يعني, يعني, uh, in, in Surah Taha أَلَا يَرَوْنَ أَنَّهُ لَا يُكَلِّمُهُمْ وَلَا يَهْدِيهِمْ سَبِيلًا نعم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he, he, he mentioned regarding those who took the, took the ijl as, as, as worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he, he rebuked those individuals Do you not see that this, this thing cannot speak to them nor guide them, nor, nor guide them aright So it shows that يعني, The true ilah yatakallam أَلَيْسَ كَذَلِكَ The true ilah yatakallam so how can the Jahmiyyah, they come and then they say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, لا يتكلم. أعوذ بالله. نعم, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يتكلم. يعني, in a, in, a, in a manner, يليق بجلالته. In a manner that fits his, his majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. نعم. So, he says, وَالَّذِي لَا يَتَكَلَّمْ لَا يَكُنُوا إِلَاهًا So the one who does not speak, it's not, a, it's not an ilah, it's not a true deity. Allah mentions, وَاتَّخَذَ قَوْمُ مُوسَى مِنْ بَعْدِهِ مِنْ حُلِّيِّهِمْ عِجِلًا جَسَدًا لَهُ خُوَارٍ And the people of Musa made in his absence out of, out of ornaments the image of a calf. أَلَمْ يَرَوْ أَنَّهُ لَا يُكَلِّمُهُمْ وَلَا يَهْدِيهِمْ سَبِيلًا Did they not see that it cannot neither speak to them nor guide them aright? فَدَلَّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ الَّذِي لَا يَتَكَلَّمْ لَا يَكُنْ إِلَاهًا So this ayat shows that the one who does not speak is not an ilah. For jahmiyyah, the jahmiyyah, they say, Allah la yatakallam, that Allah does not speak. Ithan laysa huwa, huwa bi ilahin ta'ala Allahu amma yaqulun. Naam. And how exalted is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala above that which they, above, above that which they say. And likewise, in Surah Al-Taha, this is the ayat, naam. Nah, the first was in Araf, 148. And this ayat is in, in Surah Surah Taha. أَفَلَا يَرَوْنَ أَلَّا يَرْجِعُ إِلَيْهِمْ قَوْلًا وَلَا يَمْلِكُ لَهُمْ ضَرًّا وَلَا نَفْعًا نعم 
Do they not see? That it cannot reply to them. And it doesn't have the ability to bring them about any harm or any good. Naam. Naam. We got meaning. Sheikh Fawzan says, يعني العجل لو كلموه لا يرجع إليهم الجواب. If they spoke to that عجل, it won't, it, won't, it, can't, it won't be able to reply. فهذا, فهل هذا يصلح أن يكون إلها? So does the likes of this deserve and, and is suitable to, suitable to be an ilah? And likewise, Ibrahim, alayhi salam, he said to the abd al-asnam, those who worship the idols, فَاسْأَلُوهُمْ إِنْ كَانُوا يَنْطِقُونَ Naam. Ibrahim, he refuted these individuals. Naam. He said, ask them if they speak. Ask them if they can speak. See if they reply to you. Naam. مَا دَامْ أَنَّهُمْ لَا يَرْدُونَ الْقَوْلِ لا يجاوبونك. So long as they can't reply to you, this shows that they're not suitable for to, to be a ilah. Naam. قالوا له شيخ فوزان said he, he said and he said to him لقد علمت ما هؤلاء ينطقون. You know you already know that they cannot speak. قال لهم the what was Ibrahim's reply عليه السلام أفتعبدون من دون الله ما لا ينفعكم شيئا ولا يضركم. أُفِّلْ لَكُمْ وَلِمَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Now, so do you worship then, besides Allah, that that which cannot bring you about any benefit, nor any harm? أُفِّلْ لَكُمْ Uff is a statement of يعني, displeasure and discontent. أُفِّلْ لَكُمْ Regarding that which you worship, besides Allah, do you not have any sense? Now, and that's in Surah Al-Anbiya. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ مُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبَ لَكُمْ And your Lord says, call upon me, supplicate to me, and I will answer you. وَصَفَ نَفْسَهُ بِأَنَّهُ يَقُولُ يَتَكَلَّمُ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He described his, his self, that He speaks. Naam, that He speaks, and that He, يعني he says and that He speaks. فَالَّذِي لَا يَتَكَلَّمْ لَيْسَ بِإِلَاهِ So that which does not speak, then it cannot be, ever be a true deity. وَلِذَلِكَ كَفْرَ كَثِيرٍ مِنَ الْأَمَّةِ أَمَّةِ الْجَحَمِيَّةِ and for that reason, many of the imams of Islam, they made takfir of the heads and the leaders of the Jahmiyyah, dunu muqallidihim, not those, the ignorant followers, those who follow them out of ignorance, wa atba'ihim, alladhina lam yatabayyin lahum al-haq, those whom the truth hasn't been clear to those, to, to those individuals. Now, because the ulama, and the imma, they're not mutasari'een for takfir. Now, they're not mutasari'een as some individuals they try to make, that the ulama, they're hasty in takfir, la. Those who have an ignorance due to jahl, they, they're, they're making taqlid of a, of, a, of a person that they thought had ilm and things like this and they were ignorant or a person was a muta'awwal yani they, 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 they thought a certain one eye meant something different naam naam so takfira has conditions naam ishtima'a shurut wa antifa' al-mawani' naam so he says wa in qalladu an al-jahl so even if they blind follow if they, so if they blind follow those individuals out of ignorance فَهَؤُلَاءِ فِيهِمْ نَظَرُ يعني These individuals يعني فيهم نظر لا بد من البيان لهم It must be clarified to them فَإِنْ أَصَرُّوا فإن فَإِنُّوا يُحْكَمُوا بِكُفْرِهِمْ After bayan, after clarification if they, continue, if they continued upon that and after the hujjah was established upon them then perhaps the ulama would make hukum of takfir or they would make hukum of takfir upon those individuals Alhamdulillah with this we'll uh, end this, this last lesson and alhamdulillah, uh, it was a pleasure to be here at Masjid Wahyain uh, with my brothers upon the Sunnah, Wallah Alhamd. Uh, I enjoyed it, Wallah Alhamd. Uh, the brothers, they, they, they were very hospitable and very generous. Uh, alhamdulillah, and it's, it's a lot of good, you know, taking place, Wallah Alhamd, from that which I heard from those in charge from the Quran school and uh, from the madrasa and things like this. Alhamdulillah, so this, this, is, this is good news, and it's good news that the brothers are contacting those, the, their brothers upon Salafiyyah to come help them out. <clears throat> uh, all, of this, all of this is, and from those things, Yubashir al Khair. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep their brothers firm upon the Kitab and Sunnah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, and, and again, you know, Samihuna, you know, excuse us for any taqsirat, uh, any shortcomings on our behalf. But again, it was a pleasure to be, be here with you and meet the different brothers from the different places that... I know some brothers came from Chicago and brothers came from different places. And it was a pleasure to meet my brothers upon the sunnah. But jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.